Hi there, I'm Elaine and I'm going to take you through a Symphony tutorial. I'm using an online tutorial, the official one from Symphony. It, I'm using it as a beginner because I want you to see all of the issues. I'm using the terminal and a fresh installation of Ubuntu. So I need to actually don't need to configure Apache. I'm going to use the built-in web server so what I'm going to do is just be a super user to make my life easy and install CURL, connect to the URL, HTTP symphony.com installer and that will download Symphony into that output directory which is user local bin and then just give access to execute it. That's what I'm doing there and that's again following the instructions directly from the Symphony website tutorial. Symphony is a script as can be seen there. So the next thing to do is create a Symphony project and how you do that is you you run Symphony new and then you choose your own name, a name of your choice, the name of the project. Then you are given some requirements to have a look at and need a bit more space here. So that's what I've done so far. I've created a project always read back, see what all the messages were. It says it's installed, but there is something missing. When I installed this system, I forgot to put simple XML. I just installed PHP. So I'm going to now go and do that. And then I'll rerun the Symphony requirements. OK, so I set it off already um, using apt-get install PHP hyphen simple XML. And that's installed to the PHP 7 because I have the latest release. So with that ready, I could run the Symphony requirements again and just check whether everything's okay. Now this could, this is a problem when you follow the instructions to the letter. It just didn't work, as you'll see now. So I'm just going to go to the directory and run it. So the same purpose. So everything's okay. It's got a couple of recommendations which I'm not too worried about at the very beginning but I'll go back and review these things later. You can use history and you can scroll up so you you won't lose this. So once you've had a read of all of that the best thing now is to just have a little go and start the web server. Start the web server by using PHP, going into the bin directory forward slash, type console and then space and then server colon start. So instead of start, you can put status, you can put stop. There's many commands and there to manage the built-in web server. Again, you can just follow all of the documentation that is on the Symphony website. So I'd started it, check the status just to make sure everything's still okay and then go to the browser and have a look at what we have. Obviously need to run it at the port and the next thing to do is go to Symphony's inbuilt documentation which will show you how to create your first controller. You need to make sure you have a root because the root is the URL to your controller and the controller is the way in which you actually get to your data. Well, I'm not rendering it out, I'm going to use the uh, Example, and I'm just going to output the HTML directly back as is in this example, but normally you would render it to a template HTML file. So I've copied and pasted just to make it easy. I've copied and pasted the file already into the correct place, which is source at bundle controller. And there it is, lucky controller. So it's exactly as they have told me to do. Things I've put the PHP tag at the top there and because that wasn't in the text that you copy and paste it's generating the number it's printing some HTML back so I'm not using a template as said and as long as you use forward slash lucky number in the URL it should go straight to this controller instead of the, the default controller so if you type lucky number but if you make a mistake and put forward slash on the end just have a look you'll see it doesn't work you've got to be so precise so just check make sure that your root is exactly as 
mentioned in the code or stated in the code and you'll see it now works. If you put forward slash, it won't work. So that's it. Thank you for watching.